Easy. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> That's better than that cold snow. Don't you eat my Gwen now. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Survivors Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We are up by the plane crash, and we've got Gwen here, the sole survivor that was left behind anyway. Um, and she's she's not doing great. Oh, well, she's she's improving. <laughs> she's now up to 66 percent. Um, but I think we can we, we can we can make it even better. There's actually a bed over here that I have discovered I'm not sure if it's for Astrid or for Gwen. I think we're gonna try to plop her down on that instead of this cold Stone, let's see if we can drop her on that thing. <laughs> Up we go Gwen. Hold on girl You're gonna be good Let's go bring her over here. I can barely see. Where did it go? Uh, there it is. I won't let you go. Well, actually, we are going to let you go right on that bed. Can we drop you down? Oh, look at that. It's a perfect fit. Sit you down now. There you go. Yeah, I think it was meant for, for Gwen. <laughs> so hopefully she'll improve quickly. Faster now. I don't know. All right. Anyway, she's doing fine. She's warm inside the cave, even though she's not that close to the fire. Um, she is... I just gave her some water, so she's hydrated, although she's uh, getting dehydrated very quickly. So here's what we're going to do. We have, well, we've got plenty of time here through the night. We're going to survive in the cave tonight. I'm thinking about maybe heading out here and chopping down a tree or at least gathering some wood. I've been looking for wood. Couldn't find any loose wood, but there's a little log over here we can chop up. Oh. Don't worry about the wolves. They're not actually in here. They're on the outside somewhere. That's just going to give us sticks. There's a bigger one over here. That guy right there. Um, because we're going to have to keep that fire going through the night. Otherwise, we may freeze to death even in that cave without the fire. 45 minutes. We got three cedar wood and a tinder plug. Let's break it down. We got the time to kill here. Oh, we got the well-fed benefit. That is awesome. So that actually gives us more weight, right? <sighs> Extra carry capacity? Although we're still heavy right now. We don't have the... It doesn't show us the benefit of that well-fed until, um, until we go to sleep and get some rest. All right, so we got a few more logs. Uh, let's go over here and grab those... Um, some flares over here. Hang I know it's cold. I know it's cold, Astro. We're going to get back in the cave. I left some of these behind me because they used to be really heavy. At least I thought they used to be heavy. But I looked at them a little more closely and they're not too bad. Is that another one? Oh, that's a soda. All right, we'll grab the soda anyway. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at those real quick. Where's my flares at? Yeah, right here. So all of them together, less than a pound. So that we can swing. All right, put it down. I don't need to shoot anybody here. Um, and I also went through all the suitcases, or at least most of the suitcases that have been spilled out of the cargo. And um, I found a little bit of... Uh, I found some halfway decent clothing. And I've dropped what I didn't want and replaced what I thought was better. So that's all been taken care of. But that's really pretty much all I've done. We're back, Gwen. You okay? Let's go check on her. I know it's dark in here, but I don't want to waste my... Lantern fuel. So she's pr improving. That's fantastic. Oh, I still have coal here. Okay. Well, that's going to burn for a while. Might as well throw some sticks in there. And a couple of cedar woods. And that is now seven hours. And I think we're going to sleep for about six. Because um, I'm not really sure how much time is left. So we'll sleep for six. See if there's any time left. And then we will, um, and then we'll assess from there. Now I'm going to go ahead and cook up some coffee. Oh, poor Gwen over there. Now she will drink water, but she won't drink sodas, so we're going to have to possibly make some more water from snow. But you know what? I think we'll be okay. We've got a lot of sodas here. And there's another one on the ground over here as well. Um, but I'm going to make the coffee up right now because Astrid's getting a little tired. And there's a couple of more things I would like to do before we head out. Or at least before we go to sleep anyway. And that is clean up this gun. Uh, let's grab that coffee because it's going to burn. 
We need a nice, clean revolver for this trip back. We gotta get um, uh, Gwen to the uh, to the community center, and it's pretty far. And I imagine we're gonna run into some trouble with the local wildlife, and we need a reliable handgun in order to shoot at them. 77%. I mean, we've got the flare gun now, too, and then uh, we have these marine flares that some folks have pointed out in the comments are very effective against those timber wolves. So we'll try those as well. All right, Gwen is looking good, up to 78%. She might even be perfect in the morning. And I think it's time to go to bed. Um, let's just check that fire. We got six hours and 20 minutes. Don't let me forget my cooking pot when we leave in the morning. And I think, um, yeah, I think we're good. Let's put down our sleep and roll, bed roll, right over here next to Gwen. We'll keep her company. That way she'll be comforted knowing we're right here. Um, and when we wake up in six hours, we'll have 18 minutes left <laughs> to, uh, to cook up a morning brew. Some coffee, and then we'll be on our way. Oh, wait, you know what I should cook up right now is some tea before bed. Yeah, let's just pass the time until ready, and then drink it. This will give us a sleeping benefit, so we get a good night's rest. Six hours and eight minutes. Perfect. I meant to do that. All right, good night, Gwen. We'll see you in six hours. And we're unzipping. Improved rest is still with us? Nope. <laughs> it's gone. Um, so what time is it? Still a little dark, isn't it? Although the sun is on the rise. There goes our warming up benefit. Let's check on Gwen. Well, she's still alive. In fact, she's at 100%. 100. Told you. She'd be perfect. And we should now have our well-fed benefit back. We've got uh, 11 pounds extra. Pretty darn awesome. Oh, we got two hours here. What the? That's weird. <laughs> uh, well, that's math. That's Canadian math for you. So how about if we do this? Well, let me go check to see what the temps are out here right now. How are they? Should we make a run for it? I mean, it's, not, it's a clear day. We got two down arrows. We can, we can make a run for it right now. Maybe get one more hour of rest and get a little more sunlight. But it seems like we should... Oh, I thought that was Gwen howling. It's not Gwen. I think we go now. I think we go now. Let's do a tin of coffee. Got to have our morning coffee, obviously. And we should probably give Gwen something to drink. I'm going to check you over. Give her the full diagnostic, and we'll treat that affliction. Thirsty. Get some rest now. No, you need it. No, no, you don't. No. No, Astrid, wrong. We're picking her up and we're going. <laughs> uh, how much water do we have left for her? Plenty, I think. I think that's plenty. But uh, we're going to go ahead and drink some soda. And I think we can eat these meals over here. Um, I'm going to grab that soda, actually. Coffee's done, too. Uh, hold on a sec. Let's grab... Did I drop those meals? I thought I dropped... Oh, I'm carrying them right here. Okay, let's go ahead and eat these frozen meals, at least one of them. You can't cook them. At least I didn't see them on the cooking menu when we tried cooking on the fire. <laughs> Maybe you can't cook them on a fire. Maybe you can cook them in a stove or something. And then we're going to drink the coffee. And we are... We're a hundred and hundred and hundred too. Look at that, huh? Not too shabby. Grab that cooking pot. And we'll grab... The new day is dawning. Yes, indeed. Perfect. Grab that. Roll. And then we just have to grab Gwen and be on our way. Now, I'm wondering if I can take a torch and pick up Gwen at the same time. I'm going to try. I'm trying not to set her on fire. Oh! Ow! Oh, got you. <laughs> well, I guess we can't carry the torch and Gwen. No, we got two hands on Gwen. And I think her uh, her bed's going to catch on fire now, so this is it. We're not coming back. Just burn Gwen's bed, and it's time to roll out. And hopefully we don't get attacked by anything. Although, check out how far we have to go. We're right here. 
I don't even know where we're going to end up. Are we going back this way or out the... I think we're going out the back. I don't know. Oh, I didn't check the suitcase. Uh, whatever. It's just a bunch of random clothing. I don't imagine we're going to get we anything. Make it. Very good. Yeah, we can make it. I just feel like I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? We got to roll out. We got the whole day. Just stay Hope awake. We're getting closer. Yes. Keep, keep that... Uh, Confirmations coming, Astrid. She's gonna be the moral support. I'm gonna be focusing on surviving. Oh, it's a long way down. Can we do this? Can we carry Gwen across this log without slipping off? Whoa. We can make it. Yes, we can. She is a well of positive thinking, this girl. I know you guys want me to go through those suitcases. Uh, no, not doing it. Not doing it. Not for nothing. So this is a whole new section over here. Seems like we're going around. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, getting right close to the edge like that. So I wonder if this is causing strain on Astrid's back. It looks like it. The end. What are you saying? No, it's fine, Hang Gwen. In there. We can do this. I hope uh, we're not at risk of anything. No. Not at risk of anything. We still got a little coffee left. What the? Drink that coffee? Did I not drink my coffee? Uh, hold on, Gwen. I gotta put you down for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Easy. Oh. Easy. Sheesh. That was an easy drop. I thought I drank the coffee. There must have been a little bit left over in the bottom of the cup. Ah. Fantastic. Okay. Now let's pick her up. She's getting cold too. Uh oh, Gwen. Gwen, you okay? Oh, there she is. Okay. Whew, thought I lost it's you. Okay. It's okay. So it's it's cold, but it's not too cold. Two down arrows isn't terrible. I mean, it could be better. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going through the mountains here. The church artifact we're not going to go after right now because we can't... I'm not going to worry about that. This, uh, Gwen is our priority. I won't let you go. We will not let you go. Absolutely not. Well, unless the wolves come or a bear. We might have to use her as bait. Don't close your eyes. Not because, yet. No, not yet. Everyone's you, dead. Well, don't worry about that. Actually, not everyone's dead. There's plenty of people alive back at the town where we're headed. So you just hold on there. Um, I was going to say, you don't have to be the fastest. You just have to be faster than the slowest. Do I, what the heck? I hear a phone Hang ringing. On. I have you. What? There's a phone down here? I won't here? let you go. There's a phone down here. <laughs> There's a wrecked up shack, and it sounds like a phone is ringing. What? Oh, there's gas here, too. All right, hold on. I got to put you down. I got to put you down nice and easy, right? Can I put you in the tub? I hope that person doesn't stop. Uh, no, we can't put you in the tub. I'm going to put you right here. I've got you. I know it's cold, but I got to get the phone. Hello? Hello? Me again. Molly, How did right? you know I was that here? her name? I forget. Party line's a funny thing. All the calls go to every phone in the area. All I have to do is wait for you to pick up. Um, what do you want, Molly? I'm I'm kind of busy. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> found a survivor at the crash site. You spying on me? What? Just watching. Does she have a drone? Curious. Okay, that's wow. kind of creepy. You want to tell me what happened to your man? I don't really have time for this right now, Molly. I'll go first. Seriously, what? You asked about my husband when we were in the house. Not much to tell, really. He's dead. I'm alive. Sorry if this sounds harsh, but you don't seem too broken up about it. I'm not. I assume he's the one in the basement. Did you kill him? You tell me. Is failing to help someone the same as killing them? I guess that depends on the circumstances. And the intent. <laughs> now you sound like a lawyer. Did you kill him? The wolves killed him. But my intent was for him to die. Okay, well, I think that's, um, negligence or something. I don't know. Yes, wrongful death. I think that's what's wrongful death. No intent. Well, no, she said she had intent. Anyway, uh, should we do a diagnostic here quick? I think um, hmm. 
Gwen's I'll fine. Can help. We can't help her cold condition unless we have a fire, but she's she's not thirsty or anything. All right, let's check the map, see where we are. We're making good progress. Can we just cross the frozen river and head? Maybe we can get to Molly's. Oh, I don't know if I want to go see Molly. She's crazy. Um, but we might have to stop there on the way back because it's still a long way to go. Well, let me just look around here real quick, see what we got. I'm going to grab a little bit of this cedar firewood and grab the jerry can. Hopefully we're not too heavy. A little bit of that wood. We could make a fire right here and warm her up. I think maybe that's what all this is here for. Can we get a barrel fire going? Yes, we can. Okay, that's what this is here for. Yeah, let's get a fire going. I think that's the whole reason this is here. We get a 95% chance as is. Or we can just use the accelerant. Um, well, this is a good time to use the accelerant. Might as well. 100% chance. Let's do it. Nice and quick. And we'll plop Gwen Perfect. down. What? Perfect, right. Um, right here. But I think I'm going to put my sleeping bag down. I did pick it up, right? <gasps> Wait, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, we'll put it right here next to the fire. Let's see if we can pick up Gwen and plop her down on top of that. Well, let you fall. Up we go. Not going far. Not right now. Stay with me. Stay with us. Make it. And put you down. Down right on the bedroll. Cool. Yes, we can. Easy. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> That's better than that cold snow. And yes, yeah, she is now warming up. Fantastic. Oh boy. Gotta put some wood in here. Put some of that cedar in there. I don't think we need to burn for too long. Three up arrows should make short work of her cold problem. Um, and how are we doing for weight? Plenty of weight here. Ooh, she's snoring already. Man, she goes out like a light. Still 100%. like to see it. All right, looks like uh, looks like we're good to go. So let's pick up Gwen. Now, actually, can I pick up my bedroll while she's on it? No. Okay, we're going to have to Hold on. pick it up after we pick her up off of it. And then drop her over here. <laughs> Oops. Don't fall asleep. Stay with me. Maybe it's not worth doing that. I don't think it has any benefit, game benefit, but it just seems like way. the right thing to do. But this is kind of a hassle. All right. Off we go back into the wild, white wilderness. Uh, we can cross right here, I suppose. But then we got to climb up the other side. Oh, there's a pass that way. It's the river. Yeah, let's go toward the river. I didn't really look around here very much, but I think we Not have everything we need. Now. Unless there's bullets or something. What? Astrid? Sorry. I was just thinking to myself. Just stay awake. We got crows I'm up ahead. Closer. Can I sprint? No. Another suitcase all the way over here. Holy smokes. Um we're now twice as heavy as normal. With uh, with Gwen, <laughs> I hope the ice doesn't Sky. crack. Where did it go? Uh, it's still where it's always been. Should we check that body over there? I I feel like we should just get Gwen back. All this other stuff can wait. We're gonna have to come back here anyway for the church artifact, and we'll check on that body. I just want to get her back safely. Don't close your eyes. Not just, yet. Just a little stone there. All right, I don't like this narrow pass. Well, it's a river, frozen. Um, I don't know if we can get up that way, so maybe we should go up right here and get to Molly's place. I think that it's probably the closest structure. How are we doing for time? Plenty of time. Plenty of time to get where we're going. We just have to avoid bad neighborhoods. What? Well, what? Well, what? Well, well, Something behind us? I don't know. She's just delirious right now. Oh gosh, what is all this? Oh man, if we take the wrong turn, we can get stuck somewhere. All right, I see. Um, I see a farm in the distance. Big bales of hay. 
up ahead, so I think this is Molly's farm. What? Oh no. Oh no, 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 you don't. Yeah, oh, gently now. Uh, where's my thing? Oh gosh, yeah, these are the timber wolves. Uh, uh, Molly? Maybe I should do the flares? Ow, we went wrong thing. Where's the flares at? Oh, jeez. Alright. We gotta we gotta ruin their resolve is what we gotta do. Where's my flares? Lights. There we go. Oh hurry up! Hurry up! Get it! You don't like that, do you? <laughs> Get out of here! It doesn't seem to do anything, guys. <laughs> Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I have to actually hit them. Oh jeez, reload. You don't like that, do you? See, that bar down there is their resolve, and apparently we have to lower it. We gotta hit them, apparently, with it. Okay. Uh, I hope they don't chew on our friend Gwen here. Did I just call her Molly? I think I called her Molly. My bad. Sorry, it's a very stressful situation. I hear the growling. Here he comes. I missed him! Dang it. Down to four or five of these flares now. Oh man, Gwen's getting cold. This is bad, bad timing. Bad, bad timing. All right, here he comes. Here he comes. I'm gonna get him this time. Don't shoot till you see the whites of his eyes. Coming right at us. Yeah, that's right. You come straight on. Straight on. That works. All right. Halfway down. We've got the resolve halfway down. Hold on, Gwen. It's getting cold there on the ground. All right, I hear some growling, but I don't see them. Oh, they're gone. Okay, put this away. <laughs> now that we just started a forest fire I've here. Got you. Up we go. Okay. I guess that after a while they just get bored anyway. Because <laughs> it didn't seem like I was doing any uh, damage to their resolve. Great, now the fog's rolling in and I can't see what direction I'm going in, but fortunately... Oh no! Molly's house is over there. We're going to the Pleasant Valley outbuildings. Um, I think we can make it. Alright, let's get to the outbuildings. They, they're a little farther away than Molly's house, but I do not trust Molly. <laughs> she is a wag job. So let's uh, let's cut through the fog and hopefully we're going in the right direction. It's hard to tell in the fog. I can't see more than 30 feet in front of me. But there are some uh, bales of hay over here, which means there's a farm. Um, although we might walk right past any structures in this. Oh, this this looks like a road, though. Right? Yes, this is a road. Seems like it. Let's follow the road. There's some bales of hay right there. That's a good sign. Just gotta get there before Gwen freezes, because her temperatures are dropping fast. Faster than Astrid's, that's for sure. And that's because she doesn't have any um, decent clothing on. She was traveling in a plane. No jacket or anything, right? No hat. Uh, it's too bad we can't put extra clothing on her, because I had a ton from all the Don't suitcases. Close your eyes. Not yet. Uh, Gwen? Gwen? Open your eyes! <laughs> I haven't heard anything from Gwen in a while. I hope she's still alive. Better check this road. Yeah, it seems to be heading toward the outbuildings. I think we're Hang good. Hang in there. We can do this. Now Astrid's teeth are chattering. Now. How do you know? Uh-oh, I hear wolves! Oh, dang it. We gotta find a building. We gotta find a building. We gotta find a building fast. I don't want those wolves to attack again without some kind of a shelter. Yeah, we're heading straight for these buildings. We can do this. Astrid, keep telling Gwen we can do this. I think she uh I think she fell asleep. Hang in there. We can do this. Yes, that's what I said. We can do this. <laughs> Is that no, it's just hay. It's just a big bale of hay. Stay with me. Stay with us. Stay with us, Gwen. I think she's unconscious. She does usually snore in her sleep, though. I don't hear her snoring. No, I mean, her heart right there. You can see the heart, so we know for a fact that she's not dead. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's that? A building! I see a building. Can we make it? 
I think we can make... Oh, no, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. There's a wolf. Wolf, 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 wolf. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Bad. Oh, can I run? I can't run. Oh, my gosh. Here they come. Oh, can we make it? Oh, no, I can't make it. Drop the girl and mama. Mama? What do you mean, mama? I'm going to kill you all. I'm going to make them all bleed. To make them all bleed, I think they'll run away. Oh, where's their little timber wolfy thing? I don't see their, um, their little thing. Am I hitting them? Get out of here! Yeah, their, uh, their bar. Oh, gosh. Bad time to reload. Don't you eat my Gwen now. Whoa! <laughs> if I kill the alpha, they all just leave. They just leave. I think I got him. All right. Reload. Now, as far as I know, this thing... Doesn't it drop casings? Yeah, hold on. I gotta pick up my casings. Yes, it does. Ooh. I don't know if we can reload bullets in this version. Um, I think you can only do it in the... Uh, oh, gosh. She's not doing good. Hold on. Uh, in the survival mode, but... We'll try anyway. Can we get her inside one of these things? Shelter from the um, the shelter from the wind here. Yeah, the shelter from the wind. I gotta get a fire gun. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Now they're coming back. I'm getting the music now. <laughs> what? They're back. I just scared them off. Right, we gotta get a fire going. Get a fire going. Come on. Hold on, Gwen. Use our accelerant. 100%. Feel better? I was not even started yet. Perfect. But whatever. Perfect. Add a log. And now she is no longer at risk of hypothermia, and we are warming up as well. But where the heck are these wolves? Uh, show yourself. Come on, you dang wolves. They're hiding. Is that fire? Hour 17. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go out and face them. There they come. Don't shoot too soon. Wait for their eyes. That ought to do it. That ought to do it. And don't you come back, big chicken. Right, let's reload. And I think we did it. How you doing, Gwen? The wolves are gone. You're f oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Something's busted. We can't leave until we scare them off. Because they're just going to keep nipping at our heels, I think. 